All right, folks. So this is just a pure and simple show-off post, I'm afraid. I apologise to those who don't like show-offs, because I don't either. <clears throat> but I've got all 14 of my black boxes. They're all black box tech, all switched on together. I've done them one by one. A couple of them played up a little bit. And a couple of them sort of... But my, my axe, I say a couple of them, only one. Firecracker, only one played up, but I reseated the ROM cartridge and it was fine. I've had a couple of goes on each one, so I know they're all working. But it's just a little bit of a show-off post, really. Honestly, it's crazy, but it's nice to... So the first ever black box release after Electros, there Electros, is Nudge Climber. Basically a super nudge gambler, but with black box tech, basically. Same real order, exactly the same real order. Then next release was 21 up in the shorter cabinet, and that was the end of the shorter cabinet. Then the first release in the tall cabinet was Bell Trail. And then the next release <coughs> was Double It. So I've got the first four releases. After that, I think upstairs, downstairs, and a couple of Real Gambler and a couple of other games came out. Then Firecracker. It's kind of epitomises the two buttons on the top, which obviously carries the theme down. And then double it as well. Then uh, Firecracker's Rebuilds is uh, top any chance. In fact, these are Gamblet re real build, uh, rebuilds, but Gamblet is just basically a 5p firecracker. So these are 2p games, <coughs> as people know. So it's nice to... I like, I, like, uh, I like them two together, although they're pretty much similar games. Then a really unusual rebuild. We still haven't got to the bottom of this one, but it's the BWB with that symbol. Yeah, I've got a couple of flicking lamps. I could see that's only an 809. No, I'm not too weird. So, yeah, Man Hatter, which, Mad Hatter, which was also a firecracker. So, I've got the original firecracker plus three of its rebuilds. Then, the last one with the electromechanical reels is this one Oranges and Lemons. Yep, the last one with the electrical mechanical reels. Then, we think, but I could be wrong. This is, this is also, this is only sort of my thoughts. The first machine with um, stepper reels, stepper motors, and no more solenoids, we think is Triumph. Because it's in that cabinet. I simply say that because it's in that cabinet. I mean, obviously, they've changed over to the new star buttons. They've gone away from round, round buttons of all them, and they've kind of gone into these new star, but still in the same cabinet as them. And then, obviously, they decided to have a new cabinet. These are in, I don't know what order, I, I, I don't know after, I don't know of these type, I've only got four of these. I've got real bingo, uh, bingo fruit, which is an original machine, it's the only original machine I've got in this cabinet. And I still haven't caught the best moment that he does, I've, see, I've only seen it happen twice, I'm not saying anything, but one day I will capture it, there's a really good moment. I'm guessing that was uh, Bell Fruit's answer to JPM System 80, uh, real, uh, B, uh, what was it called, bingo or something. Uh, it's this is not as good, but it's rare, mega rare. Anyway, uh, Crown Gambler, a, a rebuild, a basically nudge or spin. Basically the same, it's exactly the same as nudge or spin, it's just a re-glass really down to a pound from two. By Crown Leisure. So, and then two step. We come to this kind of dial machine then. There was a Cops and Robbers, weren't there, like this, with the Cops and Robbers sort of running across there, like the 2P one. I know one exists, but I've never managed to get my hand on it because I know Vinny had it for a few years. And then I think the last, the last one, I only think, I don't know, is Super Climber, a £3 jackpot. This is a conversion as well. So, oh yeah, this has gone into four and a half minutes, just we've not even played anything. So yeah, apologies folks for the for the show off post, but when you've got a nice line of machines, I, I like to see them anyway, whoever they are, whether they're mine or other people's, and it's nice to see them all on. I don't think this unit's going to get to a stage of putting them all on, unfortunately. I just I just don't think that I'm, I haven't even got enough plugs really. 
but a line like this so there you go folks i'm gonna have a few games on a few of these might do a couple of videos but i'm not going to go too mad because you've all you've all seen these oh yeah this one does the odd free credit <laughs> i don't know why yeah it does the odd free credit so it's obviously got a dodgy switch <laughs> So there you go, Nudge Climber, 21 up, Bell Trail, double it, again and again and again, Firecracker, Top and Eight, Fiesta, Mad Hatter, Oranges and Lemons, Triumph, Bingo Fruit, Crown Gambler, Two step <clears throat> and super climber. So just have one last. There you go, look at that. Proper show off in it. <laughs> it's took me mind you saying that, it's took me ten years. This is took this is ten years of getting these. This this isn't five minutes. And some of them I've got for virtually nothing. Some of them yes, but a lot of them I've paid good money for as well. And no end of repair. My mate John has been an absolute saint with uh, repairing, repairing black boxes, which is how they're all working like this. And uh, also my mate Bob has done real sensors for these, remade brand new ones, the real sensors and the little real sensor boards on the back because uh, we've had a few problems with them. So, we've, you know, it's been kind of determination and dedication. It's not all fun loving and just buying machines to keep a tech I mean don't, don't forget this is uh, Bellfruit's first CPU tech well first official CPU tech so this is before System 83, before System 85, before Scorpion 1 so anyway that's a good long view of them I hope you enjoyed that folks so time to have a few goes I think see you in a bit